hi guys welcome back to my channel so this week actually i'm gonna do things a little bit different from how i usually record or what looks i usually record so i'm gonna go ahead and just basically create two looks actually no i'm creating the same look on each eye but i'm using different colors and i'm using the same palette so kind of like two looks the same palette just you know so you can see how you use the different colors in the palette so if you want to see how i create the looks or how i achieve using the palette keep on watching and then for the people that keep asking yeah i do my brows off camera because it takes me forever to do it and i use the same products all the time so it's nothing new and I'm not great at those either, so I just kind of you know do that before I come in and start the video. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lid as I always do. I use my P. Lewis base. I'm actually rushing today, so hopefully I can get these two looks done. You know, I have a doctor appointment. It's kind of a lot to go into a doctor appointment with all this makeup on, but it's okay. And I'm just using a Morphe M173 and I'm just gonna go ahead and dab that in. I feel like that's a lot to go out in the public with, you know, that I'm not going to like a function. I'm just, you know, going to a doctor appointment, but it's cool. Okay, and today I'm actually gonna use this palette from Melt Cosmetic. Um, this is the Murret palette. So I'm gonna do a look using this shades right here so these four shades and i'm gonna do a look using these three shades it's gonna be pretty awesome hopefully hopefully fingers crossed i'm gonna start with the darkest shade which is right here this is actually a green and it's called duello or duello or something like that and for my crease i'm gonna go ahead and use this brush this looks like just like a little dome brush or pencil brush and this is a small crease brush from makeup geek and i'm just gonna stamp this in my crease and it's okay if it's kind of messy because we are gonna go ahead and blend that out i'm gonna use a morphe m506 and i'm gonna go to this color right here man these names it's called Lagrimas, Lagrimas, I don't know. And I'm just gonna use that and I'm only putting that on the edges and I'm just gonna like dab it and then just do like small circular motions. And like you can work with that green pretty easily. However, I have you some other greens where like I blend and blend and blend and blend until my lid is like curtain. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease and to do that, Actually, let's try this right here. This is this is actually not that teeny, but it's from Beauty Bakery and it's just a slanted brush. And let's go ahead and cut that crease. And I know I have like, you know, some space right here, but it's fine. Trust the process, we'll make it all work out. And I'm actually gonna use a brush from Makeup Shack. And this is a T48 and it's just, you know, flat head brush like so. And I'm gonna go into this color right here Angelito or Angelito but as I said I don't actually wet the brush what I do is I just take a wipey and I just wipe it off like so and then that gives it some kind of moisture but not like just soaking wet so so much get picks up on the brush when you wet it so now I'm gonna go back actually I'm gonna use that M506 that I used for the top part and I'm gonna go back to the dark color right here and I'm gonna put that in just to kind of you know join everything together make it look nice and seamless I'm gonna make sure it just looks like one thing just and there's no blending it's just dabbing okay so we're gonna move to that second eye and I'm actually gonna start with this color right here Valerio. I'm actually gonna use that same brush, the makeup gift brush that I use. We're gonna do the same thing that we did on that other eye. So now I'm gonna go ahead and move to that color right here. This is called Sangri. I feel like I should just use just the red, the second red that I use, but I don't get the darkness that I want. 
okay now I'm gonna move to a M506 and I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna use this color right here and this color is called Corazon and I'm just gonna use that to blend my edges and just keep blending and blending that's where the real blending comes in because you want to make sure the edges does not look sharp and that first shade that I added that is the shade where you have to really work because it is pretty dark so you might want to go I'm pretty pigmented so you might want to go with a light hand to you know maybe kind of prevent you not having to blend so much but it's cool I don't mind I don't know why I even attempt to sing I'm terrible at singing but you know it is what it is and let's go ahead and cut that crease oh look at this still have a little bit left on my hand of the pillow is base I'm gonna go back to the T48 for Makeup Shark and I'm gonna clean it up. We're gonna go to this color right here. It's the color, it's just, um, it's Kalaka and it's just a gold color. Ooh, it's popping, so pretty. And this is where, you know, you just play the tapping game. Tap, drop, tap, drop. Now we're gonna go back to the M506 and back to this color right here and i'm just dabbing this like right to the outer corner right here so there you kind of like want to just shuffle it up a little bit so you're just doing like a, like a drag kind of like this like a flick i have quite a few palettes from them love it so we're gonna put this on the side for a second and let's move to getting that liner on let's just go ahead and just use my fancy beauty and i'm actually not gonna wing it out i'm just gonna just a band just you know to kind of cover my falsies and i know this is not good to do but i do it anyways because it makes it easier for me Let's go ahead and clean up. And I'm just gonna use an M518 clean just from Morphe and just brush it off. And let's move to the face. First, as always, we have to moisturize the face. Actually, gonna go back to my little sample of moisturizer from Tatcha. This moisturizer is really good, but it's hella expensive. And I'm gonna use my super goop sample eye cream, just a little dab. Let's go ahead and just use this is from super goop as well, and then it's the matte sunscreen. We gotta use sunscreen, and this one has I think most of the stuff is like 40 SPF, which is really good. In for my primer, I'm gonna go ahead and use this primer from Tatcha. This is just a silk canvas. And for this, less is more, even if you know, I kinda go ham. For my foundation, I'm gonna use my Luxie 732 foundation brush. And I'm gonna use my Lumina Silk from Armani. This one is actually almost done. But you know, these are expensive. So I use everything from it. Is this even like hygienic? Maybe not. But I'm the only one that uses my foundation, so it's so all good. I was gonna use my Jeffree Star Cosmetics, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this for my money. Still power fabric, and this is in point um 7.75. Yes, and to blend that, I'm gonna use a concealer brush from Loxy, and that is the 733. I feel like it only looks light on camera too because in person it is not that light and let's go ahead and use this jeffree star cosmetics setting powder in the shade topaz and to set my face i'm just going to use my charlotte tilbury this is her flawless finish airbrush powder and my shade is medium or number two and I'm using just a powder brush from Noxie that is the 734. I love this powder, but a really good dupe because this is like $45. So a really good dupe is the Micro Smooth Powder from Sephora. 
end for lashes i've used these lashes before so they're off the case these are dubai for makeup shark these are my favorite lashes and they're pretty inexpensive and i use them forever i actually can't find my regular glue so let's go ahead and use something else i'm just gonna go ahead and use this is just 3d lash glue but they actually don't work that very well but since i can't find my other glue i'm gonna go ahead and use this it will work it's just not my favorite and for my mascara i'm gonna use just this pat mcgrath fetish eye mascara in black all these mascaras are good mascara i just can't really say hey they were great on me because i have terrible lashes for my lashes to show after i put mascara on there i use like i need like a miracle mascara that's what i need and for this eye, I'm gonna go ahead and use this pencil. It's the Glide On 24-7 by Urban Decay. And this is Alkaline. I'm gonna use this for this eye. And for this eye, I'm using this green. And then this one is the 24-7 pencil as well. And this one is loaded. And we're gonna leave that here. We're gonna come back to that. I'm gonna go back to my palette and use the dark green. And I'm using that same brush from Makeup Geek. I'm going really, really close to my lid, to my waterline. I always say my lid, my waterline. Let's go back to that loaded pencil and I'm going to put that in my waterline. And let's go back to that green, which is the green that I have. I used to blend this one and I'm just going to blend this. I need to keep an eye on that, on those lashes. Because I have no time to be going back. We're gonna move on to this eye and we're gonna go back to that dark dark red we're gonna go to that alkaline pencil perfect well not so much but let's because i'm not done yet and we're gonna go back to this red so i'm gonna skip this step i'm not gonna put this red as well i'm just gonna use this one just to blend this out Get a little wipey and clean out my applicator. We want to make sure there's no excess glue on here. Okay, I'm gonna use this teeny brush from Morphe. It's uh, M213. I'm gonna go back to that palette and let's go to the gold first. I'm gonna do which is this color right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that in my inner corner. Just kind of, I kind of already have it up here, so I'm just gonna bring it down my brush on my little wipey and I'm gonna go to that green color which is this color right here and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye voila and now we are all done with you know these palettes use this palette it's the silhouette um, counter palette from makeup shop mm, I finish with this too let's use sun kiss and bronze on to apply my bronzer I'm using just a large angle brush from Roxy and that's a 739 Make sure you bring that to your hairline so it doesn't look like there's any beginning and end. It just kind of, you know, meshes nicely. And I'm going to use this sponge right here. And I'm going to actually, I've never used this shade, but let's use this shade right here. It's just light. I'm just going to use it to just cut this right here. Like so. And for blush, I'm gonna use this pink blush. It's called Glistrin, and that's by Tarte. And I'm just using a Laura Mercier Dual Fiber Finishing Brush. And let's see what highlighter. Actually, let's go ahead and use this highlighter. This is from um, it's Artis Cato, and then this is the Jackie Aina collab, and then this is La Peach. And to apply this, I'm gonna go ahead and use another brush from Loxy, which is the 737, and then that's the highlighter brush. And let's dust off that excess powder. I'm gonna go back to this because I'm gonna pinch my lashes a little bit. I can see like part of it is left in. That's why I hate these glues, they don't work. Move in along. For my lip, I'm gonna go ahead and use this lip pencil from ColourPop. And then this color is just a pinky color and then it's in Bumble. You know, like Bumblebee. That's what I did there. This is a lip gloss from 
makeup resolution i think this color is called oh soulmates gross <laughs> that looks so gross that is funny let's darken it up no i feel like i'm just piling this up even though it feels no i have like 10 pounds of makeup on my lip and to set my face i'm gonna go ahead and use my urban decay all nighter and this is the looks okay so if you want to see what looks i come out with i come up with and what colors i use in my next video you're gonna have to watch the next video to see bye guys I'm recording. I sent you a text. Well, I'm still recording, so you're gonna have to take that off from the video. I will. Yeah, you know, we just had a rude interruption. You know, my husband came in here, but it's fine. I'm pretty sure he'll take that off the video, anyways.